Hey YouTube, welcome to Paige Genesis Room, and today I'm going to be doing a video um, that I've really wanted to be doing for a while, but um, I finally got around to it, um, and this is going to be a, I can't really call it anything, but it, I'm kind of going to be explaining what you can do in storage space for back to school clothes, so different things that you can do when you get when you're about to go back to school but you don't want to put them in your closet yet or if your parents want you to keep them nice and not wear them until school, things like that. So that was my quick 30 second intro and let's get started. So I actually have a huge box that looks like this and it goes all the way down and it's this huge thing. You can't see the camera. This huge looking box. Oh I can't hold it up. And it is jumbo and um Pretty much, I'll show you guys, pretty much, this is just all of this stuff. So, I have a lot already. So, guys, so I have a lot already. Um, so, yeah, so that's a plus um, because you want a lot of school clothes. So, um, pretty much, I'm going to kind of explain what I do. Um, Okay, so pretty much I'm going to explain what I do um, when um, I, like, I'm getting ready to go back to school. Bye, Molly, I am trying to film a video. I guess he's not going to stop. Okay, so, um, so I'm just going to cut. I'm going to have to pause this. He doesn't stop. Um, okay, so I'm going to kind of tell you guys what I do. I'm going to have such a weird angle. Maybe it's just me. Is that more center? I think it is. Um, so I'm just going to kind of show you guys and tell you guys um, what I do for when I'm getting ready to um, go back to school. So um, first thing that I do is first technique or step that I would say to do is to start early. So if your school, my school starts around the 20th, I think it's August, 20, August something, I know. Um, and today is July... 29th but um so start early so if you are so let's get out the calendar so if you are if your school we'll say that your school your guys's school just and pretend starts on um august 23rd which is a friday so we'll say that, okay? So you and today is the 29th. So we're gonna just round it up and put it at the first because there's only um, 31 days, so not that big of a deal. So rounding it up, we're on our first week of August, per se. We'll just pretend like it's the first. So you have three weeks to school. I always start in the middle of July, and actually I have it marked down. I started school shopping on um, July 16th, which was a Tuesday. So I started that day um, and just I've gathered up things sunset that way you don't wait whoops that way you don't wait until August 20 20th to go school shopping when a lot of things that you don't like aren't there you can't find jeans that fit you can't find a shirt that doesn't fit you can't find earrings you don't find things like that okay so that's just kind of my advice to you start at least a couple weeks early I would say the least amount of time at least three weeks early I would say at least three weeks early. Um, so yeah, so I am actually completely done school shopping. I am done, um, and I've got everything, so I'm very happy about that. I mean, I might if I find a shirt here or there, I might get it. But besides that, I went on a huge haul today, and um, with my mom, and got tons and tons of school clothes. So definitely go check that out. It's um, called Huge Haul, and um, I'm going to be posting a video on my phone um, of a vlog, uh, or not a vlog, another huge. Haul. Um, that's in two parts, so definitely check that out. That will be up here in just a minute. Um, so, yes. Um, so, like I said, definitely go check that out. Um, and then, what else should I say? Um, trying to think what else I could say. Um, Oh, okay. Step two. I had to remember. Step two. 
depending on what size of clothes you are, round. So that's kind of meaning. It's kind of like in, if you are an extra small, we'll say that you're petite, extra, extra small, you know, extra small, small. So if you're small, I would go with a medium just because your clothes aren't going to fit you in the winter if you're a small. And this is pretty much just for like your little ones, like from ages 3 to 10, I would go. I would get a little bit more bigger for size. Um, just because in the winter, depending on back when I was growing, um, I definitely, my mom always bought me winter clothes in the next size up. And that's how we would go forth. Next, I would just talk with your parents um, on what you want to do. Um, I talked with my parents, and I think we're going to do half and half. So um, we're going to go winter shopping like throughout half the school year, and then we went beginning shopping. So it, it just kind of depends on like that, and then if you want to just do it all at once. So kind of that. Okay, fourth thing I think I'm on is storage. Depending on where you want to do it, like I said, if your parents... Um, want you to keep your clothes for just school and wait or if your parents want you just you can wear them they, you can do whatever you want with them just keep them nice for school great um more power to you but i personally am extremely scared that i'm going to get stains or something on them however everyone makes a mistake so it, you know whatever happens happens but um it it just kind of depends on your parents and you not to mention your age because if you can't fend for yourself obviously you need to listen to your parents but if you're more of a teenager and like me i mean even if you are a teenager your parents still need to do ground rules with you i'm kind of getting off topic now okay but pretty much my um kind of main point of this is figure out what they want to do if you want to wait till school or if they're fine and you can try them on if the case is waiting till school like me I put them in the box like you just seen. What I did is just close the box up um, and then just leave it like that. You could also put two um, bags or as many bags as you want over top of the clothes so that they don't get dust in them. I am also doing that. So that's pretty much it. So then there's the kinds of shopping that you need to do, um, you know, clothes and if you want to do shoes, if you want to do accessories, things like that. I have all those done. And um, so yeah, so that's kind of my, advi my advice to you. <laughs> There was a grass window. My advice to you, um, I'm keeping it all in a um, box simply because I have no closet right now. Um, I will be getting that this weekend. Woo! I'm so excited. I get paid on um, Friday, so I will be getting paint and doing all that stuff. And I'm so uber goober excited because I'm just excited. I don't know why I'm so excited. I'm just excited to get my like, closet back because I haven't had one since... <sighs> So March, April, May, June, July, four months, almost five, because it'll be August in a day or so. So almost five months I've not had a closet, so we're completely washing it out, redoing it, getting um, paint on it, things like that, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just uber, uber excited about my closet, and I'm going off topic. So thank you guys for watching this um, back-to-school clothing haul advice. Um, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to be an update on my nail polish. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.